Hell is a place for those who reject God. According to Jesus, hell is a location for those who reject God, rebelling against his kingship and rejecting his grace. The definition of the coming judgment that is found in the parable of the wedding feast is beneficial. The king was uncompromising about making the invitation look as enticing as possible. He was plainly hoping that those who had been invited would show up. The king was correct in giving judgment on the offenders. They did not only refuse his invitation, but they also slayed his messengers. God is patient, but he will not tolerate evil indefinitely. Those who reject his offer of salvation will face his judgment. Number 14. Hell is a place of regret. Jesus does not portray hell as a pleasant or neutral place. To the contrary, it is a place of torment. Mark 9, verse 48. As the dark place outside of God's kingdom of light, hell is full of pain and regret. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 13, verse 42. Number 15. The choice between two paths. There is then to be a day when justice will be done. Every human has at least two commitments in the foreseeable future, neither of which can be recorded in a journal or noted on a calendar. The first date is unique for each person, whereas the second date is similar for everyone. There is a distinction between general speaking and preaching from the Bible. The preaching of the Bible always includes a challenge to make a choice. The truth of the Bible is never merely information to be picked up on the sly. It is never sufficient to think of the gospel as only information. Instead, it must be implemented. Jesus' teaching on the Mount was completed with an open invitation to all people. However, he directed his instruction to his followers. He pleaded with them to go through the door of salvation and start walking up the path to heaven. Jesus outlined the two paths available to people as they go through life. Everyone is moving through this world on a path that ultimately leads somewhere. This is a journey we are all taking. Jesus encourages us, saying, I want you to pick the roadway that goes to heaven rather than the highway that leads to hell. You cannot maintain a neutral stance towards the way forward. The easy path. The path to hell. Matthew 7 verse 13 Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter through it. It is up to you whether or not to go past the broad gate and continue walking along the big road. This gate can be traversed with relative ease. Beyond appears an easy road upon which to travel. Jesus made it clear that many people chose this path when he remarked, For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. If you're on that road, you will become one of a large group of reckless and indifferent individuals who travel along that specific road. It is able to provide pleasure, power, and possessions. On the other hand, it is rife with immorality, gruesomeness, and violence. They simply go through the motions of life without giving any thought to the kind of route they are on or the destination it leads to. However, they are indicators of potential danger. The broad road against which Jesus warns does not stay broad. It narrows as you go along with various branches. People who choose the broad route get trapped by its dependencies. On that path, someone can decide to partake in a particular sin, only to find out later that sin has already taken her. The wide road starts to become more restricted. If you take the easy route, that ultimately results in misery. You will find that the pressures of life gradually get more suffocating and challenging as time passes. You'll discover that the pleasures this broad road offers are manufactured 
and never give what they promise. That's the way the devil always works. His approach is to give you his best at first, and then the way worsens. Then death stares the person in the face. To enter a huge football stadium, spectators must frequently go through a turnstile that can only accommodate a single patron at a time. It's helpful to think of it this way, to envision how we would get on the path to heaven. No one else can be saved from anyone else. The road is hard, and it has a narrow gate. On the broad road, individuals bring all of their sins with them, but at the narrow gate that leads to life, it is impossible for anybody to walk through carrying the luggage of sin. Which way have you decided to go? The punishment is a life sentence in a place called hell, where the inmates will be cut off from God, the origin of all that is good, excluded from the new heaven and earth and imprisoned alongside the devil, demons, and anyone else who harbors resentment towards their creator. They will be tormented, body and soul, day and night, for all of eternity and into eternity in a lake of fire, where they will suffer the anguish and frustration 